Hi everyone, welcome. So today's video is a continuity from the previous one, when we did all the modeling part, but today's video is all about materials and furniture, the dynamic deal that turns the boring 3D box into a vibe. Let's start with materials. Think of materials like a skin of your design. Want a warm rusty cottage, roof wood texture and chunky stone, slick futuristic penthouse, glossy metal and polished concrete. The right materials don't just look good, they tell a story. But here is the hack. Always read Pinterest or Behance first. References are like a sheet for realism. How does sunlight bounce off marble? What does this stress leather even mean? Let the internal loo do the heavy lifting, then tweak it in Blender. Okay. So here we are going to begin with the floor material, which I think a wooden floor will be more than fine okay so i've only downloaded this laminate floor too from polyhaven it is a free texture which we can download for free okay so i'm gonna go ahead so there is two type of applying it easily okay you you can just append it in your uh, actual blender file by going to five okay append and we are going to select uh the file where after extra extracting it okay go to materials and choose this laminate floor okay so now we have this material but we can see it unless we apply it on one object okay so i'm gonna go ahead and choose and choose it here okay uh, it is this one so i'm gonna go to material preview and you can see that we have a wood texture on the floor but uh, uh there is a step we missed here we have to uv unwrap all the 3d object okay so i'm gonna go to uh, edit mode select all the floor okay tap you to uv unwrap select cube projection okay but now you can see that the material scale is way too big so i'm gonna divide the screen gonna go to uv editor okay you can select this mesh by top A and scale it, okay? Until you find something visually fine, okay? Gonna isolate this one and look at it like that. Yeah, for now I'm gonna just let it like this mm -hmm. and go back. But I'm gonna go to shader editor uh, yeah this material has a displacement map let me show you okay you can see the displacement map here okay but to enable the displacement you have to go to materials here go under settings you see that the displacement is set to displacement only we need the displacement and bump so make sure this one is the selected one okay yeah and here i'm gonna for now it's just fine okay so we are going to apply the wood material as well on this lower cabinet and this bookshelf okay so for this wooden material i'm gonna search for uh, something like oak here under the blender kit yeah there is the one material i used to use okay just go to so yeah i'm gonna apply the material of this oak mini tool okay so i import the object here i'm gonna select this one so you can see that the name is planchine okay i'm gonna select this one come here and choose this material and again we can do it before or after but when you want to apply material on one object you have to uv unwrap it okay u cube projection okay so i'm gonna divide the screen again set this one to uv editor i'm gonna scale it a bit yeah select this one u cube projection okay and i'm gonna apply the same sheen material okay so here you can see that uh, we have a lot of material not applied on this on the scene okay 
So it makes the scene heavier and depending on your computer, it, it can freeze or even crash sometimes, okay? So to optimize the scene a little bit more, I'm gonna go here, okay? Under the display mode, set orphan data, okay? And here you can purge all the things. So you can see that purging 73 unused data blocks. So it will delete all the objects or, or materials we don't need here, okay? Or we are not using. So I'm gonna purge all the things, yeah. So now I'm gonna go to view layers again, yeah. So I'm gonna delete this this tool because we don't need it right now, yeah. And I'm gonna apply these same materials on the bookshelf. Okay, branch in, go to edit mode, select all, and U to UV unwrap, cube projection, yeah. So for now, I think it's all for the materials yeah i'm gonna show you one easy step to import furniture in your scene okay so now that we've done with the materials it's furniture time so, and guess what this part is not rocket science that's the deal furniture is like the accessory to your space want a cozy coffee vibe throw in comfy armchair and rustic table sleek corporate office go for sharp minimalist desk just pick Places that scream the mood you are after, okay? But here, you may ask me why do I find Gusto? I usually read CG Trader 3D Sky or even Blender Kit. These sites are gold mine, ton of high quality assets, even free ones. So no need to model a armchair from scratch when someone's already done the heavy lifting for you, okay? And you can still call yourself an artist after downloading them. Because if we have to download every asset one by one, trust me, this process will last way longer than expected okay so for the sake of keeping this video short okay i've already downloaded the asset we're going to need uh, for this video some of them come from my personal library i don't uh, some of them i model them myself like the curtain okay uh, maybe in another video i will explain how to model curtains from scratch okay or this table uh so i will link this furniture file in the description and feel free to download it if you want and if you want to set a different ambience or a different mood feel free to use your personal assets and share it with me i'll be glad to see it okay but after downloading the assets the real hack is plasma don't just bump furniture like a 3D yard cell. Check your references image on Pinterest or Beyond and do it according to the reference references images you like, okay? After that, boom. Okay? Furniture is done. Now let's move. Um, you can see that the scene is quite heavy. I might say okay so in next videos I will show you how to achieve realism and uh, how to optimize your scene if your computer is quite slower than mine okay so in the next video I will show you how to achieve realism as you might say let me go to render preview Okay, this is very good, but it lacks realism. So in the next video, I will show you how to achieve realism and how to optimize your scene, okay? If your computer is slow, like mine, okay? And I might tell you, I have an, a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro with the RTX 3070, okay? And 32 gigabit of RAM and you can see the actually it's quite slow and in one the next following video I will show you how to deal with that okay so see you in the next video